Good morning, you guys. This is going to be an early morning Bible study, and we're just going to jump right into it. So it says, um, this is from Revelation 4 and 11, and it says, You are worthy, O Lord, our God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and they exist because you created what you pleased. Now, this, I read this verse out of my uh, Bible app. And before we get into um, this word, I just want to encourage you guys to download the Bible app because it is a great way to always have um, reminders if you're just starting out wanting to read God's word. And, you know, of course, we have a routine in life and we get caught up in the everyday things. So it's just awesome to have a reminder. Come to your phone, read God's word, you know, a quick. And I think it's literally five minutes, like the whole thing. Um, They have God's word and then they have a devotion and they also have a video that's like one minute long. And I think the entire thing may be five minutes. And so it's just good to have that on hand um and then eventually once you begin a uh, to read god's word on a daily basis i promise you your spirit will will like literally crave god's word and and you will want to read the bible on your own you will want to sit down and study get your paper pen everything and so um i just want to encourage you guys to just start off reading the bible app Five minute videos here and there, and God will definitely um, light that fire in you to want to desire to read his word on your own and spend more and more time with him. All right. Um, so I read this verse in my Bible app, and the very next thing that came to mind was we should always always worship the Lord for who he is and I find myself um making videos you know and I like to call them feel good messages you know where we talk about how you know God is good and what he has done for us and how to get out of you know how to get through certain seasons, hard seasons, and, you know, how God will always make a way. And all of these things are true. Absolutely. God is our provider. Absolutely. Um, God is our peace. Absolutely. Um, however, I find myself worshiping the Lord and thanking him for what he has done when I'm going through my seasons and once I've gotten out of the tough seasons. And so reading this verse reminds me that if God never does anything else for me, he still deserves the glory. He still deserves the worship because he is worthy. He is our Lord. He is our God. And he is to receive all the glory and honor and power. When I go outside and I'm able to feel the wind against my skin, the sun on my face, when I'm able to see the seasons change, all of those things remind me of who God is and why we should praise him. He's not an ATM. You know, I just think that there are a lot of, we can sometimes, you know, even as believers, sometimes we we enjoy the feel-good messages, right? Because we feel like we're always in a hard season. We feel like we're always in a slump. Like there's always something going on. You know what I mean? We, we could just never catch a break. And so most of the messages that we hear, you know, most of the messages that we teach are feel-good messages, you know, Um God will get you through this season. You know, don't worry about it. Your bills will be paid. You know, um, 
don't worry about a job. You'll get a new one. It's it's like all of these things are true once again. You know what I mean? But it should come a point where we're not preaching feel more feel good messages over worshiping the Lord for who he is. And that's very important. Um, when you get to a place in your spiritual life where you're able to worship God just for who he is, just for being the almighty, the great I am, the El Shaddai, the Prince of Peace, just just for Yahweh, (laughs) Christ Jesus, just for being who he is, right? And understanding that there's a difference in worshiping the Lord or being the almighty, the great the great I am versus worshiping him for what he can do for you. When you get to that point in your life and you understand the difference, you will excel. You, you're, you're, you will get to a place where there'll be such a peace that comes over you that you won't even be able to understand. When you understand that God is worthy to be praised, whether you have zero dollars or a million dollars in your account, he is worthy to be praised, whether you are sitting sick in the bed and cannot get out, or if you're outside running, sprinting, and 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 flipping in the yard. When you realize that God is worthy to be praised, when you lose someone or if you're having a baby he is always worthy to be praised always he is our lord he is our god he is holy you guys look at this holy 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 is the lord god the almighty the one who always was who is and who is still to come He is holy. And so we worship him and we bow to him and we give him glory. We give him honor. He's the only one. There is no one before him or after him. And because of these things, because we know these things to be true, because God's word is true. His word is true. That's why we praise him first, first, first. And then we give thanks because we know that he will provide for us. And if it is in God's will, the things that we desire in our heart will come to pass. But it should never be thanking God for the things that he has done first. We always praise him simply because he is God. And that is it. And so I just wanted to make a video on this because when I read this verse, that very next thing that came to my mind was, we definitely should be praising God for who he is, first and foremost. And we can sometimes get away with that, but that's why God's word is good because it reminds us, it keeps us on track. Remember, you all, we cannot do anything in this world on our own ability. We need the Lord's strength. We need reminders. You know, that's why the word is our guide. Don't get down because you forget or sometimes you get caught up in life and things are going on. And so you find yourself constantly just uh, praising God for the things that he's done for you. You know, and that's a beautiful thing. Always give thanks. But just remember, 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 remember. If our Heavenly Father doesn't do anything else for us, he still deserves the honor and the praise. Understand the difference. Know the difference. Read God's word. Move forward in your day. Download that Bible app. And I will see you guys in the next video.